Some genes don't play fair. When organisms reproduce sexually, they pass on their genes, which sit on chromosomes, in a process known as meiosis. This means that each child receives only 50% of DNA from their parents. But some chromosomes are selfish. These selfish chromosomes increase their odds of being passed on to the next generation. For instance, in males, some of these cheaters kill off rival sperm. In females, they can sneak their way into the egg. But scientists have only ever seen this cheating happen in either males or females, and never in both until now. Our research team has discovered the first known chromosome that cheats through both sexes. Looking at fruit flies, we found a selfish X chromosome that manages to up its odds of being passed on in both sperm and eggs. In males, this X chromosome kills off Y-bearing sperm, ensuring that more offspring inherit it. In females, it's preferentially included in the egg. This selfish X chromosome behaves like a super gene, meaning it contains a large block of DNA that no longer mixes with its normal X chromosome counterpart. That is, it no longer recombines when forming sex cells. It could be that this super gene structure helps the gene cheat in some way. By cheating, these genes spread through populations until they're the only chromosome of their type left. And this begs the question, how much of the DNA we know across species is due to these cheaters?